for stamping. Okay, so we are featuring the Field of Flowers stamp set. So you guys can see it a little bit better now, right? This great field of flowers, right? And then you can add all these other pretty flowers. And then they've got the sentiments. We've got always thinking of you, always a celebration, always in my heart, my friend, always. You are always in my heart, maybe. Always believe and love always. So you got lots of fun things you can build in terms of sentiments with that stamp set. And then lots of fun stamping. This is just one of those great takes you back to like stamping with the stamp set, right? So let me show you what we are gonna be making here. Um, you know what, maybe we'll do, if I slide that, if I put that underneath there a little bit, then you guys can still see what's going on. And I can hopefully see what's going on too. Okay, that'll be good, okay. So our first card, love all of the little detail, right? And the stamping. So this, I have to tell you guys, there were cards that I saw on Pinterest by Andrea Wolford, and she is at makebeautifulcards.com. So these are kind of lightly cased from, uh, used inspiration for my cards from her cards because I loved them so much. Um, she actually kind of sponged or brayered a background, kind of an ombre. So it was a blue, but kind of a lighter blue to a little bit brighter blue. Super pretty. I went with just the embossing, but I love the black too to kind of make things pop also. So anyway, let me show you. Let's get everything out. There's a bunch of stamping that we are doing on this one. Actually, one more color too. So lots of fun stamping there. Okay, grab the stamps themselves and I'm gonna use that punch too. Okay, so we're gonna scoot that over there so I know what I'm doing. So basically, we're gonna stamp on this Whisper White piece I'm going to grab my little scrap grid paper because I think I might go off the edge here. So I'll put that underneath there. Okay, so we are going to start. i got to put that right up there so I see it and I know what I'm doing. So we are going to start with some Granny Apple Green ink, okay? We're going to stamp kind of the, the field of flowers along the bottom. You know what? Where are my glasses? Well, all right, we're going to try this without the glasses. So we want this right down at the bottom. What I'm trying to avoid is having a little white space. Um, so you almost want to stamp a little bit lower than maybe you really need to. Let's see, did I do it? No, no, I clearly did not. Okay, maybe I do need my glasses. I'm gonna go grab those real quick because I thought I was really pretty close there, ladies. That's a lot more white space showing. Okay, so now I have my glasses. I'm getting super serious. I'm like crouched down here. Okay, so let's ink this up. Ooh, eh, oh well, we might have a little flying, man, hmm, I don't know what my problem is, I can't get that lower, can I, well, all right, that's going to be all right, I, maybe it's because I, um, you know, the camera is right in the way, like I want my head like right down here, anyway, it'll be fine, so we'll just have a little bit of white space along there too, I'm trying to decide because I don't have any more white paper. I was going to say I could maybe go get one. You're in between stops, Miss Sharon, heading out west to Denver, I believe. Have an awesome trip. I wish I could go with you. I haven't been out there in a long, long time. All right. Okay, let's see. We will do, let's do our stamping with our always. Next. Yes, hopefully good times out in Denver. Oh, yeah. And you're, are you flying or driving, Sharon? Dab it on. Yeah. That's what I should have done, huh, Philomena? Oh, go get groceries. Oh, that's cute. Yes, priorities, Miss Susie. There we go. So there's our always. And then we'll do in my heart. Okay. Stamp that. Let's make sure that's good, right? And we're going to put that maybe right about there. Okay. So now, oh, yes. Okay, so she's saying I'm already here and I flew. So how is it flying, Sharon? Is it crazy or is it not too bad? I'm curious, because I haven't even thought about going near the airport. Although I do have to tell you guys, this Monday we would have been coming back from Maui. We would have left on July 3rd. And we would have just come back on Monday from Maui. So kind of sad. Lots of people were posting, you know, oh, they're so bummed that we weren't able to do that trip. Me too, me too, but that's life, right? Okay, so now... We are gonna grab, I got a, a bunch of strips of white. So this is just scrap white cardstock. I forgot, I should tell you guys about 
the size. Actually, we'll do that when we put it together. Remind me, okay? So on here now, we're gonna do some stamping and punching and then just fussy cutting. Um, everyone followed the rules. Good, 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 Sharon. That's good to know. Um, so let's see, what do we, so we need, actually what I did was kind of a variety of the little baby. This stamp right here that coordinates with the punch that is part of the bundle. So you've got the Field of Flowers stamp set. So then this stamp right here coordinates with this punch right here. So it does come in a bundle too, okay? So we are going to stamp this in a couple different colors. I'm gonna grab my little scrub pad here because we're gonna need to clean it off after each stamp. Okay, so let's actually do Mango Melody first, okay? We're gonna just ink that up. And we need the other ones too, don't we? So let's try that. And then we're gonna actually stamp these in Mango Melody also. And we're gonna have to fussy cut those, but that's in a, in a moment we'll do that, okay? All right, so now we're gonna clean this little baby off. And let's do it again in Poppy Parade. We're gonna do these. And I feel like maybe there was a rule I'm trying to remember. I'm doing that down low because I feel like I needed to cut along the bottom to get my punch in there. But I don't know if I did it upside down or not. So we'll figure it out. Okay, so one more time. This time we are going to use Mango Melody ink with those little flowers. So we're gonna punch a bunch of flowers and we're gonna just use a few of them. So I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, so we've got our three colors. Mango Melody, Poppy Parade. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, no, no, no. Melon Mambo is the pink. Poppy Parade and Mango Melody, okay? All right, so let's just clean. While we're cleaning, because I think I'm done stamping, I'm gonna just do that. So you can use this, you guys know, right? Like I pushed too hard and I got ink up on the top there. So do that. Let's just clean everything though, because some of these I use on the next card. And I don't know which ones right now. We will figure that out in a moment. So you guys see, are you even seeing? Maybe you're not seeing, huh? Love my scrub pad or whatever this is, the chamois, whatever it's called, the purple, the purple thing. Did I say hello, Sally? If I didn't, hello, hello. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna just move all of these things out of the way and let's do our punching. Don't think we need that guy anymore either. Okay, so we are going to Line, how did I do that? Isn't that funny? Now I'm like, hmm, yeah. So I did this card, oh my gosh. We can do this. Okay, here we go. That's gonna fit in, yeah. I'm like giving up too quickly. So what I need to do though, and this is what I was kind of saying was, I didn't punch down far enough so it won't fit in quite right. So I think this is gonna work if we do this. Uh, there kind of we need to although I'm not even going to use that really little one let's try that okay so note to yourselves here is to just um, use a little bit skinnier strip so then you can manipulate it a little bit more so that looks pretty good so those little babies pop everywhere and you just have to keep track of a few of them I only used a couple in each color so if I lose one or two in the babies, those are too small. I don't know how you ever use that. So we won't even worry about that one. Okay, now this one, I think I stamped down much lower. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to fit it in. So isn't that cute how they fit right in this little punch? I guess if you wanted to make like sprinkles, you could use those smallest ones. Otherwise, oops, had it all set. And then I moved my hand to help punch there. There we go those little babies and then one more punch okay let's see last one isn't that funny i feel like i need to get up in there a little bit more like right there but again those little baby ones don't matter so much because i'm not using them there we go oh it's like perfect you guys see and yeah glue dots would work too wouldn't they sally there, almost locked up on itself. Okay, so we're gonna carefully slide these little babies right up here because we do need 
a few of those. We have to do our um, embossing though too. So let's do that. Mm, actually, hold on. Let's cut these little guys out too. Okay, so there are not dies to cut these flowers out. I think you see on Pinterest, there are lots of people that are cutting them out. It's kind of a bummer that they don't have um, dies for these because it is more fun, I think, um, to be able to pop these up. So I'm just using, sorry, can you guys even see? I'm like too busy being like intent on, I'm just kind of, mm, I don't like it to be perfect. You know, like I like it to look a little notchy, kind of like the flower would be a little bit spriggy and notchy, if that makes sense. So I don't go like super smooth movements, I guess. I kind of do, I don't know, I'm like twitchy cuts or something. <laughs> I would say twitchy cuts is what we're going to do here to kind of give it a little bit more look of texture. So you see how I'm kind of maneuvering the paper almost around my snips, but you can see how kind of quick and easy it is. So yeah, it's all right that we don't have um, dies for those. You know what we're going to do so we don't lose these things. I know I need dimensionals on the back of these. I'm going to get the babies. This one probably can use a baby. Now we want a pink. Actually here we're going to do like a couple pinks, a couple red, and one orange it looks like. So in terms of colors, right? So we've got there. So we got two pinks. We're going to do that red. So I'm trying to get different sizes too, so they're not all the same. There's a red also, right? Okay, there, I think I just used five of them. So those can be extra that we can use for something else. Okay, so now these teeny weeny little babies, I used on the bigger, like those three I was able to use. I thought these still worked. They're pretty good size, even these little mini dimensionals. I don't see them though. Like when I look at the card right here, I don't see them behind, right? All right, let's see, so we got that one. But then these two babies, I used like just little snips. Not even of that because it's not as narrow, but if you go kind of along the edge, uh, I don't even know if that's gonna be too big. Just use a little teeny tiny bit. I think that's gonna work, yep, okay. And then we are gonna do one more, just a little snip there. Cause I like them popped up. I think that looks really cute when you do that. So we just take a little bit of our edge. Oops, it's like stuck to my finger now. It doesn't wanna come off onto my paper. There, okay. So that's that, right? So we're gonna just Pray that we don't lose those. We're gonna just scoot those right up there because those are all ready to go now. Okay, so now, actually, you know what? While it's kind of cleared out, let me give you dimensions of things too, okay? So we have, this is our, what's this called? This is Coastal Cabana. Love my Coastal Cabana, one of my favorite colors, okay? So we have our full sheet of Coastal Cabana cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? To make, as always, our nice crisp fold on our card. <laughs> All right, you're enjoying the card. I'm glad to hear that, Miss Sally. This is the piece we're gonna emboss in just a sec that is four by five and a quarter inches. And then I just have a bunch of scraps of Whisper White card stuff for future punching and um, fussy cutting of the flowers. This is a piece of basic black cardstock that measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then this piece that we stamped in Whisper White, three by four. So that's just gonna layer right on there, okay? And actually, I don't think I mind that little bit along the bottom. I was really trying not to, hard to not have that, but it's not bothering me now. So, okay, so let's do our embossing. And we are using, This time we use the Ornate Garden embossing folder, okay? So we're gonna use this cute little baby because I thought the flowers, if you can see like the little flowers in here coordinated really well with those little flowers that we just put um, dimensionals behind, 
okay? All right, so we're just cranking this, and this is the only time we need our, oops, oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if you heard that <sighs> noise. I kind of had it off the edge there. Ah, it happens, you know? Just shaved a little off of the blue plate. It'll be all right. If it's really crooked, you want to pull it back out and start over because you can really hurt your embossing folder, but I did okay there. All right, so let's see. We're going to add some adhesive to this piece. I really don't want to jinx myself because I have been having a bit of a hard time with our new stamp and seal. I have yet to actually call Stampin' Up to talk to him about it. I've watched a couple of videos and I've been trying. I have found the flick kind of like we used to use with the um, fast fuse. That's what's finally been working for me because before when I would run it, it was like it wouldn't cut it enough so the adhesive was never ready to run for the next time. So I don't know, either that or I finally, this guy finally decided to stop giving me fits. I'm not totally sure, but okay, so there's that. We're gonna put some dimensionals behind this black piece now. Okay, that one there and that one there. Okay, so we're gonna just peel these off. You're struggling with the seal too, Jamie? Yeah, and I really hate to say that because I wanna love it. I mean, it's what we have now. Um, and we will get used to it. Um, but I think the flick, I'll show you guys again when we do our next card. Because I kind of didn't, I was like, oh, like I said, I don't want to jinx myself if I'm all like, oh yeah, I know how to use this now. And then it doesn't work very well. Then I kind of look like a silly person. So I didn't want to say too much until it was running and it did seem to be running okay. So, all right, we're going to flip this around. We're going to put that one maybe right about there. And it's just so fun how, um, oh, McKinley, hello. Learning from me too, that's cute. She gonna do some stamping with you today, Sally? So yeah, I love just these little flowers, just kind of adding them in, like they're just growing in the field, right? These fun little field flowers. Okay, well, maybe put that one there. So you can kind of just sprinkle them all over the place, really. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out if I, if there's any sticky left on that. I've been kind of manhandling it so much. Hopefully there is some sticky on that. Okay. Let's see if we go maybe right there with that one. And I have one more little red baby. So let's see. Um, what is, let's see. Oh yes. That I'm holding the seal differently. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I'm not holding it right somehow, huh? I guess that's possible, Heather. I'll have to look at that. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I guess I, I, that's how I always, I think that's how I was holding it. Now, isn't that funny? I'm like, how was I holding it? All right, we'll, we'll check that out with the next one too. Yeah, let me get there. So, okay, so last step is just to add a couple of little rhinestones. Just always have to have a little bit of uh, bling, oops. So I love to just kind of pick these up with my fingers. I've tried using tools and then they're kind of all over the place. Susan, you need, yeah, you're still working on it too. We will get there. We will figure it out together, ladies. As soon as I feel like, all right, I think I know what I'm doing. I'll, I'll show you, okay? I'll show you what I've got going. So anyway, yes, this is our first card, always in my heart with all the pretty flowers and the little, um, what is that? Dragonfly. <laughs> I was totally drawing a blank. Yes, the dragonfly. And then with the pretty um, embossing, I think, like I said, those flowers kind of um, complement each other pretty well, don't they? The little baby flowers in the embossing folder and those on the punch. So there we go. First card, ladies. All right. Um, let me, I think I need many of these colors. So let's just keep them out and I'm going to hope 